Okay, I'm, on, I'm posting this segment uh, of the video in front of the roof building videos because I built uh, <clears throat> the roof and I realized I had an error in my uh, roof and I didn't realize it until I got around to the end and was putting in faces and soffits and cornice returns. So the whole process of watching video build, uh, roof building you're going to notice that this gable is missing. I overlooked it as I was going through the stuff and caught it when I was doing, uh, like I said, when I was doing faces and cornice returns. How I recommend that you build this roof, and you'll see the detailed instructions in, in the next video segment, is just do the main roof. It's not exactly a square, but, you, you know, it's a, a rectangular shape with the four hip sides, build it uh, and get your eave alignment done correctly and then your offset above the plate to get it to the, the correct height above the window. And you'll see that in the video. After you've got this main roof done, then you can come back and do these two gables. And I would do this one first as a, a roof roof by extrusion, right? That's what it's called. Yeah, roof by extrusion. And if you pick this front wall plane to sketch on, you just have to extrude back out eight inches, I think it is, and then just go in a couple of feet. And then what you do is you'll join this roof to this roof, then do this one same process with the roof extension, uh, extrude it out away from your wall. Uh, the It's 12 inch, no, it's an eight inch, sorry, it's an eight inch overhang beyond the surface of the brick uh, in both of these cases. And then just extrude it back a couple of, uh, back to uh, the core of this wall and then join these two roof segments together. Okay, I apologize for that, but, you know, these things kind of happen sometimes, you know. So uh, the next video segment will go into detail about how to build the roofs, okay? Cool. Okay, let's talk about roofs here in this video. <clears throat> um, mm, mm, mm. First thing I noticed when I was working through this thing is that these two windows on the garage, <clears throat> the plans... The plants say the, the header height on them is 7 foot 10 and 1 8. But then when you look at the front elevation drawing, they are aligned with the dining room window. And as I was, I didn't notice that until I was building the roof over the garage and it just wasn't going to work out right. So change these two garage windows to be the same header height as the dining room window. Okay. And then also make sure you've got all of your header heights right on the rest of your windows uh, because that's going to play an important part in our roof. Okay. Uh, a couple of things that I've done since the last video is I've added the beam that goes around the, the front porch and in the, the side entry porch. I haven't dealt with the deck yet, but it, it will be similar. Okay. And what I did is I created a new wall. And if you look at sheet A8 in the screen port section and the side ports beam detail, it tells you the size of the header that you're going to make. It's double 2 by 12 with plywood, but it doesn't give you an overall thickness. So you look at that. And then if you take a look at your floor plans, it shows an eight inch column on uh, all of those things. And then when you look at the, uh, the two details, you see that the column is the same size as the beam. And then you've got one by trim that wraps around it. So I made a wall type here called exterior porch beam, no clapboard. And I made it eight inches thick. Um, and the width of a 2x12 
oh, that's not there, but the height of it, <clears throat> all, all this one is, is just a wall type with a core that's eight inches thick. This one is eight inches thick plus clapboard siding. Because on that side of the roof, you can see the, uh, the siding. So this one is a little bit different. It, it's, it's eight inches plus the five eighths inch for the, the clapboard siding. Okay. But it has a core and a finish. All right. So you'll want to put those in the top of them. Uh, let's go ahead and put them at, uh, the first floor ceiling level. I think that's going to work out good for us because nowhere does it tell us how tall they are. Okay. Uh, that's not given in any of the details anywhere. Okay. Other, other, it's, other than the, the screen port section shows a ceiling height, but then that's based on the floor level and the floor level can be a maximum seven inches below the first floor. Okay. So I'm going to go with the ceiling, keeping the ceiling the same, because when I look at the detail for wall section and dining room, it shows the ceiling for the front porch at the same level as the ceiling inside the first floor. So I'm going to keep the ceiling height the same across there. Okay. The height of my wall is a, a if you look back on this, the screen porch section or the side porch beam detail you got a two by 12 on edge which would be 11 and a quarter and you've got two two by fours on top of it so that gives me the height of my my wall that i'm building and so i'll put it in on first floor uh whatever the math is for the offset and then the top is level there and then it gets constrained to the size of the porch here and the size of the porch here and then extend them to the uh to the brick so you're going to want to do those two things okay roof let me come back over here and show you what i got done so far what oh <laughs> it totally closed my other file okay so i won't show you what i've got done so far <clears throat> here's an issue <coughs> excuse me if you look at the elevation drawing let's look at the rear elevation to start with because that gives us a good idea of the height of our soffits because in all of the wall sections nowhere does it tell me the height of the soffit or the height of the fascia uh, nowhere that i've been able to find anyway in all of the details it gives me a depth for the the overhang which will vary uh all the all the eave overhangs are 12 inches um, either 12 inches from the core on a clapboard siding wall or 12 inches from the brick on a brick wall okay and then you don't really pick it up except for looking at the elevation drawings but on the gable ends what they're calling the rake you got an eight inch overhang and that's It was, oh yeah, okay, in, uh, on sheet A1, there in the right side elevation uh, on the garage wing there, it says eight inch rake, uh, rake projection, typical. So on the gable ends, it's eight inches. All the eaves, 12 inches. Okay, so if you look at <clears throat> the rear elevation, you can see that the one by six, what they call fascia board, is at the top of the window. Okay, uh, if you look at any of the typical wall sections, it shows your roof overhang, uh, what they're calling a gutter board, which is a one by eight, and then a soffit panel, uh, and then a one by six wood fascia board, which is against the brick or against the siding. Either one depends on which wall type that you got going on there. Okay. But that's on top of the window. So if we flip around to the rear of our building, uh, taking granted now, our brick mold is not showing through the brick the way it's supposed to. 
And the way I figured this out is I, I went ahead and built the roof on the main roof on the second floor with with no <clears throat> real changes other than um, getting it in there. And then I did some sections through the window to get my height correct. Okay, so I'm going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, I'm going to pause my video and put the roof in. And then um, I'll start the video back up again and show you what I'm dealing with as far as the height offsets.